Good morning. Today we are going to be making hedgehogs. So we're going to start by drawing a line and then a curved line going up and over. And then just go ahead and connect it where you can. Just like that. Then we're going to draw another curved line, kind of in the uh, a little bit two thirds, and then we're going to draw his little nose, his little eyeball, and a little smile. Now we're going to draw his feet, two slanted lines and two squiggles, squiggle, squiggle. Another pair of feet, squiggle, squiggle, and squiggle, squiggle. Now we're going to draw his spikes all over his body. You can have them coming up a little bit too on top of that line that you just drew. He's a very spiky guy. Next thing we're going to draw is a mushroom. So we're just going to draw two lines and then connect and then draw a line a little bit longer and then a little curve on top. We'll draw little spots and let's do another one somewhere else on the page. You can also color the spots in with a crayon or colored pencil if you want to do a different color spot. Now I'm going to draw a bigger one somewhere else on the page and I drew it a little bit farther down closer to the bottom. Now, just go ahead and go draw some more little mushrooms all over the, wherever you want. And then think about maybe drawing another little baby hedgehog or um, another little hedgehog friend. Also, I'm going to draw some little tufts of grass with my green crayon or colored pencil and this will show that the little hedgehog is on the ground. Now I'm going to draw another little friend so I'll do show you one more time. I'm just making a straight line and then curving it up connecting it where you need to. This time he's going to be facing the other direction. And this guy's a little smaller, so maybe it's the baby. Then we're going to draw his feet. Two lines and little squiggles to connect. And then we've got his spikes. I'm going to draw... Um, a line that shows um, that the hedgehogs are on the ground. This is really important to show that they're not flying around. Also, we might want to add um, some more grass. Also, um, if you want to add more mushrooms, you can do that too. Now's the fun part. Now you can color in your hedgehogs. I use different kinds of brown and go ahead and pause here to color that in. Okay, it looks like we are all finished. If you want to go ahead and go back and add a little bit of darker green grass, little tufts of grass, that will give it a little extra dimension and just see if you think it needs anything else. Please make sure to always sign your name at the bottom of your artwork. Artists always signs their work. I hope you had a fun lesson with this today and I hope to see you guys for some more drawing soon.